Hey guys, I'm HP, this is Dr. Pink, and today's topic is Wild Stevie Ray Vaughan. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button to get an update. When a new video is uploaded, a live stream is taking place. So what's Wild Stevie Ray Vaughan? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Yeah, that was it more or less. You saw the typical movement. We're going to talk about this in detail. I really get the thing working and to work out the guitar part, it really has to come like this, you know. There, there's no doubt, in your should not be no doubt in your playing, it just comes like this. And therefore you need to be sure what you're doing or really be in the, in the zone, you know. <laughs> And really you just get it moving like this. And that's basically, that's why he did this movement. Because that's the way you get this punch and this, this full groove and get the whole thing going on and without any interruption. Because he only played with drum and bass. So as this backing track is only drum and bass. So your guitar work has to be really right on the point. And we're going to talk about this, also analyze the rhythm figures a little bit, that you understand what's going on, that you, the more you know about music, the better you can concentrate on music, you know, you can forget about it again. Because when you know what you're doing, you know it, then you forget it again. again. So it ma really makes sense that you learn rhythm and you learn, well, the typical rhythm figures, which they show up everywhere, I must say. So, but before we get into that, first thing you need to do, in this case, tune your guitar down to drop D. Just low E string goes down to D, and that's where you get this really cool sound. And I'm using a medium distortion. You can use more distortion. I normally play with more distortion because I really like the vibe of this, but for this lesson I reduce the distortion a little bit and switch off all additional effects. If you play with the delay, then you have even more punch on this, but we skip that for today. So let's get started. Okay guys, the chords are, it's basically blues and in it's in D, so the chords are D7 sharp 9. Here in the third, uh, fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, pink in sixth, open D string. See. And that's the first chord, the, the D, then the G would be here in the 5th fret, A string is damped, and index here is in the 3rd fret, and this gives us a G5 chord, and uh, a chord, just a normal one, here without the low D string of course. So. The chords are really simple, and the scale which is played is pentatonic here. Three five, three five, three zero. See, and the other one is here. <coughs> D minor pentatonics at three zero, at uh, three two, one, two zero, three zero, three zero. Or these are the scales played, but we come to that back later. Now let's see the um, first figure. This is this. That's the main figure which goes through the song. We have the D7 sharp 9 chord. So one, two, and three, and four. And then we have two dead notes. These are really important, this chaka. And you play the bass note first. And 
and it's really important that you do the correct down and up sucks in order to get this flowing thing, you know. See, and that's the main figure which goes through the song. One, two, and three. Well, it's not and, it's the last 16 note. It's a dotted um, eight note and then a 16 note, a very typical figure. And this is also very typical, the two dead notes, two 16 notes on four ends. So one, two, three, four, chaka. It comes then. And you often use that to change positions. So we have the first bar is one, two, and three on four. Boom. Then comes the little lick. Three is five. Three, five. Three, zero. That's the main two bar figure. So then we play the first thing again. And then we do something else as a feeling we do. We go here in the, with the chord here in the 10th ten, fret, 12th fret. And then you use the two dead notes to get back down. So one, two, and three. Mm. So one, two. Mm. See, you go one, two, and three. Three and three and three. You go three and you make down stroke and with the up stroke, down stroke as a dead note. And then you, you come here on the 16, 16, 16 on. And then again the two dead notes to get back. See, that's the way it works. And you don't fall out of the groove. So these are the main figures which are happening. Once again, slow. One, two, and three, and four. That's the whole thing. Slow is cool, let's do it fast. Then you see how it works. Speed is not the problem, guys. I know it's fast. But speed is not a problem. The thing is that you keep the thing going on. I mean, honestly, for me, it was really hard to figure out now the rhythm exactly how it is and to repeat it all the time. It's not about repeating the, the rhythm figures all the time. It's getting the main vibe of it and staying in motion, you know? I mean, one exercise which really works is to, to get into the vibe is... Play those 16 or just as dead notes in that speed. That's really tough, guys. I can tell you. Slow will be. And stay with your arm. You don't see. Wait, let me put it a little bit away that you see that it's really important that you stay relaxed in your arm you know that's the main thing to keep it going on
And also this one, they just come as hammer. <laughs> See, the arm you just gets relaxed. So that's the first part. From then on, it's getting easier. <laughs> then goes the G. Pretty much the same rhythm figure. So. Then comes this little run. See, so you play one, two, three, four, one. And then comes this little run. We're starting here on one, and then pull off three, one, two, zero, three, zero, three, zero. It's really simple. And then we're not finished, we repeat the last thing again. And then it's finished. So one, two, three, four, one. And then it's finished. So one again. One. You can also do anything here. And then you just hit the one. So one, two, three, four, one. And then comes the run. Hit the one with the chord and then jump down to the run. That's the main thing to do. What you do here exactly is, it doesn't have to be so exact, I must honestly say. I just wrote something down for the guys who want to have the tabs that you have something which works. But honestly, um, I don't count. I just, I focus that my arm keeps going on. <laughs> You know, it's really cool. And then goes to A, same thing. Just, well, this one figure repeats all the times that this one, a dotted eight note and a six, you know, the. So. And you use the two dead notes. You need, just need to know two figures, the dotted eight and the 60 note, this one. This one, and then just keep it going. So, and then you, when you change the chord, the two dead notes at the end. This one's. That's the main thing. And the rest is, I must honestly say, intuition. <laughs> just get the thing. For me, it's just keep it going and keeping the arm relaxed. Now let's do it with a sound which I like. I just play with a softer sound now to get it more to the original guy, Stevie Ray Vaughan. But um, because it's it's about his playing technique, and this playing technique creates exactly that ex ex really strong groove and this strong punch in the in the playing, you know. See, the main thing, just keep it going on. Don't think too much. And everything has to come like in one, you're like duck. And it really makes sense to figure out the main rhythm figures. You know? And to figure out the runs. This one here, three zero, uh, sorry, three five. And here three zero at the end. You need the time to get back to the chord. If you don't do the zero here, if you make, if you do it like this, going back to five, you have no chance, you, you drop out there. The same with this one. With the zero here, you get the time to get back. And these little details make that the whole thing comes like this, you know. 
Okay, guys, that was basically uh, the technique how you do it to get the main thing grooving on to, and then try to get into the intu intuition just with this movement of this arm and just keep it going on. As I already said, uh, I always did it that way. And for this specific tutorial, I tapped out something here for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to know the rhythm figs, well, some rhythm figs which work. By the way, the taps are available in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy as also the backing track here. But uh, yeah, it's a basic technique, and it's Stevie for me. This typical Stevie Ray Vaughan technique because you have this movement here and this extreme pressure in your sound, which is really cool, and I really love Stevie Ray Vaughan for that. And that is what it's all about. And then just try to keep in the vibe and then just go for it. And that's how the whole thing works, at least for, for me, I must say. Yeah. Um, yo, already said you can, uh, the tabs and the backing track is available in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Join there. Please also join there if you want to follow my thoughts about music if you want to meet other students of mine it's all a community there is my only social media thing which i'm doing now my website there on spetecruzi.com all the link is in the description box below um yeah follow there make free account talk with others premium membership up upgrade gives you access to the downloads good me and dr pink gonna playing a little bit for you at the end give you a little bit the vibe of this but I hope you could follow what I was talking about. It was more like kind of a guitar masterclass because it's not for beginners. But to, to get into this, even for beginners, try to get into this m moving. And when it comes to guitar playing, the main thing of your right hand is you, that this thing is just going like this, you know. You don't think so much about this anymore. Yeah, and that was one way to getting into complex stuff even without going the hard way over doing a lot of ex exercises of on alternate picking and stuff like that. And I always try to make things as easy as possible for you. Yeah, good. So me and Dr. Pink are playing now a sequence for you and saying goodbye. <laughs>